All right. Next question is from Bravo Davis 90. How much of a factor is time under tension in relation to building muscle? Say I use the same weight, but were to do 10 fast reps or six slow reps for exactly the same time each set and for the same amount of sets. Which do you think would build more muscle? Yeah, so the difference is actually 0.765. <laughs> Thank you for being very specific. Yeah, so. no, you're, you're, um, uh, I, I swear to God, people uh, really split hairs on something like this. Um, so there's benefits to lifting fast. You tend to recruit more motor units and muscle fibers. There's also a uh, benefit to going slow, uh, time under tension, right? Uh, the control factor, uh, the, the, the safety factor. Most people I encourage to lift with a controlled slower tempo, mainly because the, the risk of injury is so much lower and you get great benefit anyway. That's basically it. Lifting fast is fine. The problem with lifting fast is it requires a great deal of control. I, I, I save that for highly trained people with lots of control. Like I don't like to see fast squats unless you're like an excellent squatter and most people just aren't. So everything's got to be slower and controlled, but there's value to both. And now what does that mean? That means, uh, try a little bit of both, but always be careful because the faster you do the reps, the higher the risk of injury and the more control you have to have over. I mean, to give you a simple example, I could do a very slow, you know, I can mimic throwing a baseball very slowly and it's not going to hurt my shoulder. And I got to throw it real fast and I'll feel it in my shoulder. So same thing with lifting. In fact, there was that, that recent study that showed that fast crunches, you know, activated more muscle oh, fibers than yes. slow crunches. But, you know, uh, people just don't know how to crunch properly. So I would never encourage anybody to do a, a fast crunch unless they had like, again, the best control of all time. But this is where these studies really mess people up because yeah. they start focusing, they start putting too much uh, value on these types of things. When in reality, I mean, they all kind of have value. Do the one that works best for you and also strongly consider the safety. Well, I definitely would say there's a priority to one versus the other in terms of like which you do first. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I would definitely lean more towards the time under tension and the slow methodical approach first to be able to understand what that connection feels like and to be able to like go through the recruitment process, not to mention it's safer, uh, but uh, I mean, they both have value, but to, to be able to go there first and then, um, get to fast is, is crucial for you to be able to get success, you know, further down the road. You got to be tired of hearing me say this, but the answer is it's the one that you, you do the least. Yeah. If you want to know which one would build the most muscle in this case, because by the way, in a completely controlled environment, we did a study, if the load was the same, Time under tension is the time that the is uh, the same. It's just the reps are changing a little bit. It'd probably be a splitting hair difference yeah. of what Sal is saying. So it means nothing, right? But it, it, if you're just a, like normal people that are following some sort of a routine and you probably gravitate towards training one way more than the other, the one that's going to build the most muscle is the one you rarely do. If you were like my my athletes that I would train who do so much stuff explosively and do fast reps all the time mm -hmm. and they have like this one 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 the way they train and I get a hold of that person, I'm doing a slow tempo, four two two with them and we're gonna do the thing same time that you would do ten reps, we're gonna do six and slow it down, and they're gonna build the most muscle there. Opposed to me doing the the 10 reps and faster because their their body is adapted to that way of training mm -hmm. and the vice versa is true. So if you're somebody who trains like a bodybuilder, slow and control of time, and you never train like an athlete that's explosive and fast reps, you doing the fast reps is going to build you the most muscle. So that's, I think the, is the, is the theme of this, yeah. these but, types of questions. But the biggest yeah. factor that people need to consider is literally the, the benefit versus risk. Well, that's why Justin's point is perfect. Yes. Like if, if you had to, if I got a clean slate, right and someone's asking this question we've never trained at all i'm always going to go slower control before we ever move well into think explosive. about it this way of all the people that you ever trained and worked with what percentage of them did you ever encourage to lift explosively and fast right very, very small very slim yeah the, the 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 chance of injury the risk of injury goes up so much with speed of reps that it's almost not worth it for a lot of people it mainly because people don't have the control and the stability to do it. Most people don't have the control and the stability to do fast curls, let alone fast deadlifts, fast overhead presses, fast bench presses, fast squats. Yeah. So you got to consider that as well. So although definitely, you know, the one you're not doing 
is the one that's going to build the mo most muscle. What you don't want to do is I always train slow. I always train controlled. I've got good muscle development. I'm just going to switch into this explosive training. Okay. You, you think you have the control to do explosive training, but if you've never done it before, uh, I would go medium before going fast. Like, yeah. like work your way up because uh, it requires – it's a whole different that's skill. That's fair. I think that's yeah, a good it's point. It's a different operating system. 